Uh, my name is Donna Murphy. I'm past president of Onaway Fish and Game Association. Um, we also have a ladies league out here. Uh, we promote that, work with youth and children. Um, I'm also an, an instructor out at Becoming an Outdoor Woman Camp. Unlike a lot of you at the table here today, I did not grow up with firearms in our house. My dad was a farmer growing up, um, out on the farm of course, with 22, shooting, hunting. Uh, we had mounts on our walls, which didn't make sense. Uh, there were guns in the house, we knew that they were there, but they never came out. Uh, there was a hunting accident in our family, that's why they all got put away. Um, when I was older, I took an interest in shooting sports. My mom was not pleased. She's changed her tune quite a bit. Actually, she came out last summer and watched a shoot around a trap and realized how safe and uh, was, I think it made her feel a lot better. My dad was super excited when he found out I uh, picked up a gun and has learned how to shoot. Um, I'm really concerned, uh, again, as a few of you have said, this is a really critical time for our country. Uh, we so much need a strong leader. Um, we need a unified country and doing stuff like this is tearing us apart and uh, what is going to be next? Yeah. It's really, really, I find it terrifying because like, I can understand passing laws to assist people at this time or to allow government to continue functioning or to provide financial aid or health aid or whatever we need. This has nothing to do with it. This is him pushing through his agenda at a time that the country needs to be healed, not to yeah. apart. And that's that's part of the whole thing. I didn't realize that, you know the divisive politics, but literally it's that divide and conquer mentality that's taking place that you're alluding to. It's it's preying on people's differences rather than talking about our commonalities and things that bind us together. You know, and this is a perfect opportunity to work on those items coming out of COVID and trying to deal with the economy, all those things that should resonate with Canadians, you know, coast to coast to coast, the, you know, the vernacular there. And this is something that literally has us distracted from some of the issues that are taking place. And it's, it's literally a charged item. And I uh, really appreciate you, know, you coming out and telling us your story, and especially um, your background of coming into this and, and uh, the work that you're doing with the youth as well and, and with the ladies in the association as well. Thank you.